Hello everyone, it's me again, and uh, today, as you can see, I am back in my office. And as you can see by all this mess behind me, I've uh, brought over my books from Atlanta, the ones that I had, or some of the ones that I had there. And there's, believe it or not, there's a method to all this madness behind me, but that's not what I want to get into today. Today, I want to talk about something else that's come across my radar. And this has to do with the transition or in becoming a freelancer, becoming a freelance translator. And a very simple thing you can do to make it this easier, to make this step easier, because I see it uh, tripping up a lot of people who are trying to make this step. Now, you might be in all different types of situations right now. Some of you might be in school, in which case, if you're in school and you want to become a freelancer, you want to work for yourself, chances are all your classmates and your schoolmates around you most of them are not trying this. Most of them want to work for a company, right? So they're interviewing for jobs and they're doing stuff like that. And it's, um, it's a very different strategy. It's a very different mindset from someone who then wants to just start their own thing and be in control of their own life and do their own business. So it, you need to keep this different mentality in mind. And the same goes if you're, if you're in a job right now, maybe you are working for a company and you want to set out on your own. Then of course, all your coworkers, you know, they're, they're at the job. They're worried about making their bosses angry or sad or mad or whatever and collecting their paycheck while you're trying to create something. You're trying to do something on your own. And once again, these are very different mindsets. So how can you, how can you deal with this? Because very often you'll find yourself reverting back to the other people's mindset. If you keep talking to all your classmates or your coworkers who have this different type of mindset, it's very hard to kind of branch out on your own and, and stick to it. And so I've found it a lot easier when I basically change the crowd of people I hung out with. I mean, not change it, obviously don't drop your friends, but to start hanging out with other people in general. And how do you do this? Well, the easiest way I find is to, well, first of all, to go to meetups. Go to meetup.com and chances are wherever you are in the world in your area, there's some types of meetups going on and a lot of entrepreneurial ones are there. You'll find ones for entrepreneurs, for freelancers, for, uh, um, all types of you know people working on their own because this is a great way for them to meet so a lot of them congregate on uh, websites like this like meetup.com another one is internations uh, internations.org I think if you go there usually you can find something in your city as well and these also tend to be a lot of independent professionals and uh, and entrepreneurs and stuff like that and so it uh, it helps a lot just to talk to people who have a much more similar mindset. Look, a lot of these people are different on their own. A lot of these entrepreneurs want to become an entrepreneur for very different reasons, you know, because they want to be in control, because they want to work remotely, because they want to spend more time with their family, because they want to create the next Facebook. But they're still more in a different type of world, you know, in this type of freelancer work for yourself world rather than nine to five work in an office world. So it really helps in terms of mentality to do stuff like that. Another place to look is co-working spaces. If there are any co-working spaces around where you live, then to check that out because everyone working there is going to be an entrepreneur. And uh, many times they organize events to, uh, you know, just get togethers and to, to have people come visit them and stuff like that. So look into that. That's definitely a great place to go. Otherwise, just check online. Check for your area, wherever you are in the world. Sometimes it operates through Facebook groups or bulletin boards or stuff like that. And, you know, search for entrepreneur or freelancer or something like that in your area in whatever language it might be you know depending where you are in the world and chances are you'll find something and it's just great it's a breath of fresh air if you're looking to enter this world or you are entering this world right now because even if you've already started things can be very lonely when you're first starting out because you're there on your own doing your thing and and you don't have other people in your same shoes and it always helps to meet other people in your same shoes so look up these uh well first of all i would start with these websites the so meetup.com and internations then look up co-working spaces and from there on out just check online also if you go to local coffee shops many times you'll see people very often the same people working on their laptops working on stuff and these will often be local entrepreneurs so you know try talking to them maybe and seeing what they know about the scene and you know of what's going on and maybe they can help out I, I find very often freelancers and entrepreneurs are very helpful because you're really happy to meet someone else in your same shoes you know this is it, it, it's not it, it can be a very lonely type of business. You're there working for yourself. You're not sure if what you're doing is the right thing or the wrong thing. And so it, it just helps. 
So I hope you found this helpful as well. And um, if you do, please don't forget to click like because that always helps. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Also right next to the subscribe, once you do, you can click on the bell. And if you click on that bell, then you'll be notified anytime there's a new video. So you don't have to check and wonder if there's a new video or not. And so you can keep up to date all the time. And that's about it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.